yeah, check me out, boys. This is it. you guys. I had to cover it in post-it notes because it had the address. I tried to rip it off. Let's open this bad boy up. Oh my god! Hell yeah. Look at that, look at that. It won't even, oh, there it is. Boom, thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for the 100K, man, and YouTube Verify nice. the channel. Love you guys so much. I feel like the last week I have like not been excited about making anything. The beats I've been making are cool. I'm just like not super inspired by anything right now. So I decided to take a step back. I've been working on my new drum kit, the Flying Nimbus kit. I've been working on organizing all my sounds and I was like thinking of a video idea. I haven't filmed in a couple weeks. So I was like, let me show you my version of Ultimate FL Studio Hacks. How to like organize your files, export stuff. I'm not trying to show you guys a bunch of filler, like BS stuff. I'm gonna show you guys things that I haven't seen a lot of people use or I don't like when I collab with other people I don't see them uh, utilizing this stuff it's some nice little gems respectfully without further ado video hey. 4,000 likes send some people this it's like a beta version of the kit because I'm still working on it send you some commenters that once this is 4,000 likes yeah let's jump into the visit uh, <laughs> First thing I want to show you guys how to get your drum kits like super organized. I have mine set up so that it only shows my one important file. This is how your stuff would normally by default look over here. If you want to get it a little bit more organized, what you could do is go to wherever your main kit is. Mine's just essential packs. You would open it, come over to this drop down, and you want to show only open folders, and that's just going to make it so only this pops up. You could freeze it so that it stays this way, and then um, whenever you open a snap six or whatever, it'll like default back to this. Mine's set up this way. It's a little bit smaller. I have the size here set to small. You could change the size though if you're fucking if you're blind as fuck you could change it to massive if you use the jitterbug phone with the fucking giant ass buttons you know this is this is a good tip for you you blind bitch. i have mine set up so that it only shows one folder content at a time let me get this fucking massive text off what that'll basically do is so if i click around it auto closes the other files let me show you what would happen if i didn't have it on it would look like this you can open like multiple things you see how it's like keeping everything open i personally this is all personal preference i don't like that i like it to be it auto closes it just takes an extra step out for me keep everything even more organized so i show only one at a time um yeah that's tip number one. Oh yeah this is how i organize my kits a good trick i like to do that you guys could use too is i rename my really important kits or kits that i'm like using all the time which i have here basically i have the exclamation point with the little space you can just come in here and rename them to whatever you want. You do it with the exclamation and space like that, it'll make it pop up at the top, obviously, because it's done in alphabetical order. So say if I want to have that one kit that I've been working on all the last few days, I want that to show up at the top all the time. I will come here, do that, that. When I refresh, it'll pop back up to the top. Super useful way to get your go-to kits super accessible so that you're not wasting time trying to find sounds all the time. So kind of a lot of my stuff is organized. I got people's kits organized. But yeah, that's tip number one, how to organize your packs. Secret sauce tip for organizing your stuff, FL Studio hack number two it is definitely gonna be making yourself a template, bro. Get yourself an FLP template. This is how my stuff opens all the time. As you can see when I go to pull up new FLP template 2022, I put my stuff on 10 BPM. So when I'm clicking through loops, it plays the whole loop because if you have it at a faster BPM, for whatever reason, it like stops playing at a certain bar. So the faster it gets to that bar, the less it's gonna play the loop. I just bring mine down to 10. So when I preview loops, I don't got to hold control. When I click everything, I could still use one hand. Meat and Bones, how to get your own FLP started. This is like what mine looks like. It's very basic, super easy to do. And I just don't know why people don't do it. Mine comes with just super simple stuff. Just the stuff I like on the master. It's got these sound effects that are already turned off. I could just turn them on if I want to, like if I'm making melodies or something. In my new kit, I actually put one in here for you guys kind of my rug theme that was kind of what i was going for here i'll show you but the colors yeah the colors are right here i got this custom goku rug and this is like what i based it off of so that's why it was like this it's kind of fire but this will actually help your workflow a lot i have instructions on how to do it but i'm about to just kind of show you how to do it anyway what you're going to want to do is take whatever flp copy it go to wherever your fl is installed i have all my stuff on my drive you go here if i remember right data templates and then if you want you can make your own folder in here custom whatever come in here you can paste it in there and then when you come back to fl come over here to general yeah bottom right over here you could see default template and you could pick a template in here whatever you want to use blah blah, blah. i would have to open FL again. Open it up and here it is. It popped up right here at the top. Cody 2022 template FLP. I would click that and then every time I go to open up a new project, get the pretty looking thing every time you open it up. And if you want to make your own custom one, super easy, bro. Just set up the things you like that you know you're going to want open. Just set them up in the mixer or whatever. This one has these here. You know what I mean? Uh, go 
get a little soft clipper on the master. Just little things that you don't have to do on a default template every fucking time that just gets repetitive doing it. It's a quality of life thing. Just make your own FLP or you can use this one when this kit drops. It'll be in there with instructions on how to do it. Let me show you guys how to name your files. Say you come over here, you just made a fucking banger beat. I'm over here, we're making a banger right now. Blah, blah, blah. You're in the studio. Hey, what'd you fucking do for, what'd you eat for breakfast, bro? Oh shit, that shit crazy. You cook up a beat real fast. Yeah, I got you. Hey, copy my whole. Yeah, it beats hard as fuck. All right, you want to save that shit? How are you going to save it? Tired of seeing a uh, Starbucks <laughs> idea for. It's important you got to stay organized, especially with naming your files and stuff. This is like generally what I do. Say it's like Joseph Hemingway just made this fire beat. We just call him Joe H for short. So Joe H just made this fire ass beat. Hyphen. Name the beat something, whatever it is. If you use a loop, I usually name it the whatever the loop name is. So when I go looking for files and tracking down people, it's in there. Say uh, my friend uh, Franklin helped me you help franklin like that joe h times franklin it's a collab beat hex and, you, and it's 130 bpm you should do it i don't do it all the time but you should put the key put the key in there so this one would be c minor and then i would put like the vibe of something you know what i mean this beat sounded like a fucking dark rump shaker so we're gonna name it that that's how you should be filing your beats if you're saving them organizing them and then upload them i personally upload them i have it pinned here right to this folder or if i'm exporting it, i mean i'll have it going right to this folder right here january 2022 yeah, I would save it to here. Everything's super organized with the name that I deleted. You get the point. Keep all your stuff organized. That way, when you go through to find stuff, it's super easy. You don't got to go track people down or spend any more time that you don't need on stressful stuff like that because tracking down people is stressful. If you're going to be doing loops, say you just made like a really fire fucking crazy just out of this world NLE chop a loop with FL keys. You know, the little C note, but you bring this low one here. Now you fuck with that loop. That loop's hard as shit. You no, snapped, you easy. put little drums on it, make sure it had a good bounce. The way you should be bouncing your loops or saving your loops is kind of the same concept. You come over here, you go to name the loop, keep the, the key in it. And what I usually do that's different from when I do the names of my beats, you do it in the names of your beats too. I put my at at the end of the whatever loop. So this is like loop whatever, 130. It's C minor. If you want, you could put the vibe, describe the loop. This one is uh, piano. And then at the end, I would put my at like this. You know what I mean? You could do that for your beats too. because ninety. 99% of the times we meet these people through DMs or whatever, you know what I mean? Makes it really easy to find you. Trust me, these like little things go a long way. I promise you. Let me show you guys my export settings. You're not gonna get me to say this is the best settings because I know how fucking people are, but he's got their own opinion on some shit. This is my settings. This is how I export my stuff. This is my sample rate. This is my buffer rate. Copy this. Take a fucking screenshot. Go crazy. Come over here to file. This is one thing you gotta do. Auto save. There's different options. It's not on this off rip. This isn't the fucking default option. I don't know why. You want your stuff to auto save frequently every five minutes or before risky operations if you're like getting surgery in between beats or some shit you know this will make sure that before you go into surgery it saves the fucking beat for you just have this shit on this you're a psychopath why the what the hell you thought the other thing i was talking about was stressful trying to find people down how about you get through a fucking whole beat and then you find out the last 30 minutes of work was for nothing make sure them settings are right i do know when i'm like bouncing something like this make sure that your tail is put on cut remainder might be at leave remainder off rip this is here how it samples when it actually bounces from there but when i actually bounce the beat itself this is the settings i have here same thing cut remainder i have this turned all the way up when you go to export if you're doing loops bounce your shit in mp3 with the fucking current trend of for whatever reason eight minute loops i keep seeing like crazy shit like that <sighs> bro i don't want to have to dedicate a fucking gigabyte every time i want to download somebody's loop if it's a pack of 10 and they're all waves and it's all four minute long loops because everybody's got the stems then which is a good thing but y'all making long ass loops too with 50 fucking layers just do the shit fucking mp3 bro nobody's gonna know the difference you're just gonna be saving a bunch of space if the shit comes down to it you get a really fire song you get your fucking dream placement whatever they're gonna ask for the shit anyway they're gonna ask for the wave the stems all that good stuff then worry about that stuff after but while making the beat don't worry about bouncing waves all the time and shit like that it just takes up so much space and especially if you're bouncing beats i like doing mp3s because i like to send my beats over the phone to a fair amount of artists and stuff and you do wave a lot of time you can't do it it won't show up so you could do it that way this way i could text these beats to people and give people shit fast doesn't matter mp3 wave it matters in the end, I guess. But as far as the actual process of making the beat, it doesn't matter. I promise you. Speaking of space, get yourself an SSD drive. Get yourself a backup too. Take your ass on Amazon. Get yourself one of these. I think this one's four terabytes. This one's a little OD. It was like 800 bucks. But just get yourself one. You can get a good one, I think, for a hundred bucks, a couple hundred bucks. And get yourself, trust me, either save it on a cloud or wherever you trust. But me personally, I like having something physical. So I got a backup drive. Same thing. I make sure I got my drum kits on and I got my important FLPs 
keys and all that stuff because I've been there before. Your computer takes a shit on you, <laughs> no, something no, like no. have a backup, have a plan in case shit goes south. Make it so that there's no way that you're left with your dick in your hand if some crazy shit happens. You know what, what I mean? Cover your P's and Q's. I hope this video helped you guys. Some tips that maybe you haven't seen before. I'm trying to give you some boring ass tips. Drop a like, subscribe, hit the bell. 4,000 likes, picking a couple commenters, giving this kit too. This shit's fine. Let me preview. 808s are nuts and. I didn't start this too long ago, I started this a few days ago. And you already know the sound effects, crazy. <laughs> Everything you need. All right, boys, love y'all. Thank you guys for 100K, stopping by, all that good stuff, and see you.